हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक आई एम संदीप कौशिक फ्रॉम जेनेसिस मेंटर्स पुणे एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई वुड बी टॉकिंग अबाउट सीटी वर्कशॉप विजुअल रीजनिंग सिक्स व्हिच इज द लास्ट वर्कशॉप फॉर विजुअल रीजनिंग एंड व्हेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द लास्ट वर्कशॉप हियर वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट टेन मोर क्वेश्चन विच आर बेस्ड ऑन एनोलॉजीज विच वी हैव सीन इट इन द प्रीवियस वर्कशॉप विच विल कंप्लीट आर सेट ऑफ विजुअल रीजनिंग क्वेश्चन विच आर सीरीज कंप्लीशन ऑड मैन आउट एंड नाउ एनोलॉजीज so the directions are same as that of the previous video and uh, let's quickly move on to question number 1 therefore so moving on to question number 1 now obviously this question again a problem figure consist of uh, a and b which both of them consist of uh, three figures right and all the three figures are same as uh, same in b as that in a right so it means the replacement of the figures were not been done only the orientations have been changed so this top comes to the bottom and definitely the line from here it just moves to here right so the same way this top will come to bottom and the line will definitely move here so definitely it would uh, if top will become bottom and the line from here would definitely move there it would become a perfect arrow a perfect arrow is there in only two frames right either frame number 2 or frame number 4 now in frame number 2 and frame number 4 obviously either of the figures is definitely Uh, either of the figures is definitely going to be sufficient so i don't need to look at both so looking at from bottom or looking at uh, definitely uh, this middle one any of them right this would definitely go to the top and its mirror image will be taken so this would go to the top and its mirror image would be taken with arrow the mirror image was there definitely in uh, frame number 4 so correct answer is frame number 4 if you would want to talk about the line also this line would definitely move uh, 45 degrees right so this line should also move uh, 45 degrees so when i move this line 45 degrees then definitely because 45 degrees moving in clockwise direction will give me this value so 45 degrees moving in clockwise direction would definitely give me this uh, orientation which was there in figure number 4 right with the arrow figure number 4 is going to be correct so the same logic right if only two figures are sufficient don't look at the third one now moving on to the second problem now in the second problem we see first of all the triangle is inverted right so here this bucket would also be inverted so bucket being inverted right so bucket being inverted x barring one the all the other cases the bucket is being inverted it means the orientation of this triangle would definitely be similar it means the lines were from from all these lines which are vertically they would become horizontally so here also the lines vertically should definitely become horizontally and the uh, water image inverted image of this bucket is being taken it means my correct answer is going to be frame number 1 so you, moving on to the next question right we have uh, seen two questions now the third question talks about first of all there is a quadrilateral and this quadrilateral is inscribed in a pentagon now so this triangle should definitely be inscribed in a square in the next figure now so triangle inscribed in a triangle uh, or a triangle is a outer figure no triangle inscribed in a pentagon no triangle should be inscribed in a square so triangle inscribed in a square either frame number 3 or frame number 5 has to be my correct answer right now among these two frames which frame is my correct answer will depend will depend upon the orientation of uh, this uh, triangle right so i see that uh, this figure first of all has been rotated uh, 90 degree and then uh, 45 degrees in anti clockwise direction so this also would be rotated first 90 degree and then 45 degrees in anti clockwise direction and hence my correct answer is going to be frame number 3 and not frame number 5 so definitely this orientation see if there are only two objects the or orientation of both combination of both of them would decide my correct answer so quickly just narrow down to your choices and uh, then among the two choices the second figure should be able to help you out to get the correct answer figure right moving on to the fourth problem now coming on to the fourth problem this fourth problem talks about first of all a mirror image is being taken but there is a catch as well after taking the mirror image the arrow pointing uh, outwards will now point inwards so the same way first of all a mirror image of this would be taken a mirror image would uh, of this would be taken and then this semi circle would also be inverted right so when it was semi circle was open outside it would definitely be now open inside so it would definitely be open inside it means and the exact mirror image would be taken correct answer out of these two would definitely come out to be figure number 2 so figure number 2 when replaced by this question mark in d would definitely have the same step the same relation from c to d as that from a to b now moving on to the problem number 5 uh, 
the first thing that i observed in problem number 5 is that uh, these two arrows two arrows in same direction one of the arrow was is being uh, shifted from uh, left hand side to right hand side so it becomes 2 uh, 2 becomes 1 3 so here 2 and 3 should become 1 and 4 1 and 4 1 and 4 yes 1 and 4 yes 1 and 4 yes so out of these three i need to choose which one is the correct one right now i see that the shaded part is being inverted to unshaded and unshaded becomes a shaded part so here also the shaded part should become unshaded part and the unshaded part should definitely become the shaded parts right which happens in either of these two now here also uh, same thing happens the shaded becomes unshaded and the uh, unshaded becomes shaded so here also uh, definitely these two would now be shaded and the first and the third would be unshaded first and third would be unshaded and uh, definitely uh, the arrows also 1 and 4 and uh, this also becomes unshaded these two shaded it means my correct answer is going to be again uh, frame number 2 so frame number 2 when uh, being replaced in question mark d definitely would follow the same relation from a to b then from c to d so uh, these five questions were similar to that we have talked about right so the more you practice the better you are going to be at it let's move on to the sixth problem right moving on to the sixth problem first we try to see that there are two uh, uh, things one this uh, semi circle right so this semi circle first of all moves from one place moves one entire place to the clockwise direction and then definitely moving it here it would definitely uh, uh, rotate by 180 degrees it means from here also it will first move one place to clockwise and definitely then rotate by uh, rotate by 180 degree uh, so this definitely comes here and then rotate by 180 degree it means this pointed head should uh, be in this direction right which is in uh, frame number 1 or frame number 3 so frame number 1 or frame number 3 out of these two the arrow pointing in this direction would decide whether it is inwards or outwards so here the arrow was outward which has become inward so here inward would definitely become outward so inward definitely should become outward it means inward becoming outward is definitely going to be a correct answer number frame number 4 because pin head pointing in this direction in this direction and obviously this arrow pointing outwards would definitely be having a combination in frame number 4 so these things will help you out in devising the shortcuts right moving on to uh, problem number 7 so moving on to problem number 7 when you uh, uh, when you look at the figure first the out uh, inner figure becomes outer figure and outer figure becomes the inner figure right but with a change the in the orientation right so when i'm talking about this outer figure it is being inverted when it becomes a inner figure so here the outer figure when it's water image or inverted uh, image is being taken then definitely it will look like a uh, same way right so 1 and 2 these two are definitely going to be among the right answer choices now let's talk about what happens to the inner figure when it becomes outer figure inner figure when becomes outer figure it is being rotated by 45 degrees in clockwise direction or anti clockwise one is the same thing right so this uh, inner figure also is being rotated in because understand when we are talking about uh, uh, inner figures become outer figure and rotated by uh, definitely 45 degrees uh, 45 degrees rotation would definitely uh, make this being pointed in uh, this direction right so definitely uh, my correct answer is going to be a 45 degree rotated version and not this version right this is a 90 degree rotation this is 45 degree rotation now it also clears that it was being 45 rotated at clockwise and not anti clockwise because a here either i rotated 45 degree clockwise or i rotated anti anti clockwise 45 degree both work both would should be same right but here the second answer will not be there only 45 degree orientation was there in this option which makes it clear that this was a 45 degrees clockwise rotation rather than anti clockwise rotation so he will not give you any confusion right both the answers uh, there cannot be two answers which are correct if the question is uh, right moving on to problem number 8 now this problem number 8 first thing that we talk about is that arrow has been rotated by 180 degrees right so this arrow would also be rotated by 180 degrees and definitely would point up now arrow pointing up 
if they, it is there in only frame number four, then I don't need to look at any other answer uh, frame, right? Obviously, my correct answer is going to be frame number four. But if you try to see the logic for the other ones also, definitely it would uh, satisfy. A each and everything is being rotated, right? So when they are going to be rotated uh, or they are going to be first mirror image and water image, both are being taken, then definitely you will get these answers. Right, so you just need to first talk about the rotation, right? And the rotation of this arrow from bottom to top will definitely uh, give me my correct answer. So I don't need to look at for other clues as well. Moving on to the ninth problem. In the ninth problem, again, first thing that we saw is that uh, this figure, its water image is being taken, right? So here also the water image of this figure would be taken, and water image of this figure would definitely talk about this line to point up this line to point up yes right so this this line to point up and definitely when i'm talking about the water image it would point in this direction so it means my correct answer should be frame number two so if frame number two is being replaced in uh, place of d i would definitely get uh, my correct answer because this water image is being taken now if you talk about here this arrow changes its position and from outward it becomes inward so here from inward it should definitely become outward so you can check it out from inward it has actually become outward as well so it means the other logics are also going to be uh, uh, satisfied by frame number two which is my correct answer now the last problem that we are going to talk about again talks about a circle a circle right in a uh, and in a circle now we are inscribing a cone so a cone but the base of this cone is nothing but a, a arc which is parallel to this uh, side of the circle right so here also first of all a cone is to be inscribed in it right a cone is inscribed in it cone is inscribed in it but the semicircle or the arc of that cone is going to be parallel with that of or parallel to is in line with the uh, semicircle or the arc of this uh, semi uh, oval right like the circle there so here again correct answer is going to be uh, frame number one so Friends, as you have seen that when we have uh, talked about visual reasoning, it's all about practice, right? And I have given you a lot of shortcuts, lot of shortcuts, quickly summarize those shortcuts in terms of uh, mirror image, water image, rotation clockwise, anti-clockwise, objects being replaced by new objects, right? So all the combinations, but always try to devise certain shortcuts, right? If, if like uh, in series we have seen that in frame number one uh, and frame number uh, uh, E, A and E if they are similar then B and the correct answer should also be similar. So those kind of shortcuts in odd man out we have uh, seen that definitely uh, if there is one figure which is not following the logic clearly uh, you need to only if one object have the different orientations you don't need to look at the other objects. So in a sense that keep on practicing this, these 25 marks are very, very critical for you in uh, MHCT. Plus this uh, visual reasoning also, also going to be help, uh, helpful in other uh, competitive exams like uh, maybe bank PO and other exams which you would be uh, facing out. So thank you very much for watching these videos. Uh, we will definitely be coming with lot more videos in future. So just subscribe to our channel and uh, Keep yourself updated uh, with uh, what is happening at Genesis Mentors in terms of workshops. Thank you very much.